Hi guys, today I want to show you how to change the angle of the serverless retract from original 90 degrees to around 70, 70 degrees or uh, depend on your uh, needs. So first, I need you to, to remove the screws. One, two, three, and four. So you need to slowly open it up. I need you to remove this one so just carefully remove it next is to remove this one so as you can see I put some pin. It's a uh, a piano wire actually. So what I did is I removed this one all the way. So now I'll teach you how to drill this one. So the easiest way is to uh, use a, a screw that will have the same, I think it's M2. So I use this one from the DJI screws which is perfectly fit on the thread. So I basically, so this is the, the way I hold it. So it depends on you on how you want to do it but as long as it's secure so, so that when you drill it it won't move so don't over tighten it so now as you can see it's stay there so now So now assuming that this pin is not there yet, so you need to use this thread. I bought it in a $2 shop. So the shank is around 2.5 but the drill itself is, uh, this one is 0.3 and the other one is 0.8. So I'm using a piano wire around 1 mm or maximum is 1 mm is better. So now I use this drill. It's from Heavy King. Then you need to set it on high speed. Never never drill a small hole in a low speed because it will break. So mainly you need to use the small first and make the hole in the center. Okay, I don't know whether you can see it but I need you to drill there at the center and then 
after you drill the point three, this will be the, your guide for the bigger hole or bigger drill. So now you're gonna finish it using this point eight. The reason why it's better to a uh, drill is smaller because it will uh, like become a uh, press fit so it won't easily move then after that you need to use some glue so I'm using this Zaki glue it's a uh, thick glue it's better than the uh, thin because uh, for you to use it as a, like a, something like a bracing so after you put the pin so before you put the pin you need to put the glue first glue on the hole that you drill then be careful not to pour inside the 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 hole there or else, or else it will stop so after that you put already the glue then you press fit the pin so it's not uh, really like very tight fit as long as it don't barely move it's, you're fine I let it cure for actually a few hours will be enough but for my case I uh, leave it for the whole night to uh, make the thing really like cure the length of the the pin you need around five to seven mm five to seven mm so now I'm using uh, seven so uh, you will have around maybe 70 degrees so as as you go smaller it, your angle will be around uh, 80 or something so it depends on your need so after that I need you to put it back again so we stop around there So basically, there's uh, the reason why you need to put the pin there is for you to press this switch there and over here. So for me, I put the pin over here at the left to press the uh, switch here. So now let's try. It's very nice fit. It really never moves at all. So remember that I forgot to tell you. So the first drill, the small drill, the point three drill you need to drill all the way all the way but for the point eight I need you to drill around mm, you must left around uh, one eight don't let it go through so it will act like a stopper so you will this one the pin will not slide down during the operation so now let's try okay then this one all right so this way now let's try to close it So now basically the pin is on the right. I 
facing on the right. Okay, so I'm going to power it up. So now, as you can see, it will uh, angle this way because the pin, I mean the pin, will travel all the way to this side because the switch is over here and the our pin we pointed over here so it will tilt that way so if you want it to angle this way from 90 all the way to around 70 you only need to reverse the the position of the pin instead of facing over here so you need to face it over here so now i will show you how So now, just now, the pin is facing, pin is facing over here, facing over there. So this is the pin. So now, you just do reverse this one, the one that's holding the pin. So we'll just reverse it. So now it's facing that way. To check whether it really will hit the, the switch, so you just uh, see how it aim. So from there you will know that it will, the pin will touch the switch, right? Now we put it back. Okay, now we're going to try it. Okay. Now it should angle this way from this one now around 70 degrees. Then 80. Then 70. So this is how you angle the serverless retract because it's very difficult to find a several less retract with which is already angled and for this one you can either do it on this way or angle or in that way so I still believe that this uh, having this 90 degrees will be the best thing to buy rather than the one that already angled so yeah so thank you for watching my video if you like it like and subscribe. Thanks.